Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for gold. I'll cover a wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide multiple sunrise surprise may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on higher time frame on 8 hour uh, candle size at the moment and we are still looking at this possibility of having this here of uh, August 2020 as a wave 3 of primary and then looking for some kind of structure coming down for wave 4. We had a couple of different ideas um, where wave 4 was already completed here as a 3 and a 4 and then we would be having this uh, uh, expanding diagonal. Now this has been invalidated, wave 4 uh, tick here is lower uh, than the one in August 2021 so we don't need to be tracking that anymore. That was uh, <laughs> one of the wishes I had for gold um, that actually came true. That's that's nice. So we don't need to be tracking that anymore. As it was, again, not my favorite count either. Now, primary four not done is this count. And in which again, we have ABC into A or W, then ABC into B or X, and then again, looking for downward movement. Again, preference is with the A, B and C count, as we have gone beyond the um, possibility, or we have come into the possibility of being a flat pattern here for this whole structure so ABC is the preferred option here. So uh, let's go, well, let's take a look at the WXY first as that is not the primary but again uh, still a possibility. In this one I've labeled this as an A, B and C into W, three rows into X. Again, why don't prefer this? We did not get to the 38.2 at all, not even close to it. So that should tell us something that this is most likely not the right scenario. Now after that point again, one, two, is this completed as a third only or is this a five-way sequence? I'm not quite sure. We can look at that on the local structures uh, later on, just a moment. If this has been completed down here, uh, we are looking for a retracement to that 38.2, which we have already gotten. This vertical line here on yellow is again, comparing the X wave in time to wave B here. Uh, again, that is pivoted. That is pivoted wrong. Let's fix that from there. Um, so yeah, we still have loads of time to climb higher. Basically, on on this um, RSI here, though, we can see that we have already loads of bullish. Oh, sorry, bearish divergences happening. Uh, so that's a hidden bearish continuation pattern, meaning that price would be heading down. Now, but is it part of this pattern or something else? I'm not sure. But again, I have my doubts about this because we did not hit the 32. Um, this is more or the better option to me. Um, in this one, we would have this as a one, two, three, four, and five. Um, again, we would be expecting an extension here on the fifth as we did not have an extension on the third. Third is barely larger than the way one. Um, and and yeah, that's that. What did I have here? Well, that's something really old. Um, yeah, let's take a look closer into this structure here. What did we have? So again, to cover this, we had the wave four of minor here, then a one, two, minute one, two of minuet, one, two of sub minuet, one, two of micro, then one, two, three, four, five, third of micro, fourth, and expanding um, diagonal here into the fourth. This is the only sus <laughs> area about this count to me, um, that this is so weird looking. The uh, structure of course here off of these is also looking a bit weird as this um, is one, two, three, four, and five. This definitely looks more like a three-way structure in here, but at the moment I can't get that in fitting into the count any better than we have it here. Uh, the way three of this uh, minute count in the green or in the blue is very extended, around the 4.618. I've been trying to get around the area here to figure out is is there another possibility where we can have one less of a degree of wave count here. Um, as this is again very extended. When we have this many nested patterns we have to always be looking out for a possibility of how can we confirm um, these like a, how can we confirm that this is indeed a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, or is it a, just a 1 
then three waves, three waves, and something like this. At that point, we could be f uh, moving this wave two down here, and that would at least give us some better look. Whoops, not like that. Better look uh, with the wave two comparing that to this current wave four. Or, well, actually, if that is the case, we would have this wave two compared to this wave four. I think, yeah, because it would be one degree lower. Sorry, brain fart there. So <laughs> we would be comparing this wave to this four, and this would indeed be already three here. So at that point, again, we would be looking for one more low overall. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that would be the only idea I can get here. Um, that would make some sense. Is not perfect, but yeah. That would be the only scenario I would like. Um, after this pivot down here, um, after the mess of the lows, we can take a look at local structures um, here, in which we had this as a possible A wave. Uh, it definitely feels like a five wave structure, although as it is so impulsive. However, on a smaller time frame, again, we have the issue of how are we going to be labeling this? Is this a one, two here, very invisible, three, four, five already? At that point, again, we would have wave five already here. At that point, again, that doesn't make sense. Um, or is this some kind of a diagonal here? I, I can't get that fitting there. The best look would be a possible one, two, three, four, five into here, and then three wave pullback and then some kind of ending diagonal here. That would get us a W wave here. However, again, at that point we would have to be re looking again into this structure here to get a three wave structure instead of this wave B here. Let me actually just make sure that we have enough retracement here. Yeah, there is enough, okay. That's fine. Um, in any case, the overall structure here, I've labeled this as an A, B and C. One to one extension of this higher time frame is right around the corner, around this $17.69 area, um, where we have also a naked point of control and this same order block that we've been bashing our heads against for a few times now. So, in here, uh, for this last potential C leg, uh, I've labeled this as a wave one, two, one, two. Um, we can see pretty okay looking structure here as a one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, we do have that divergence happening here as well, so that would confirm our idea of that being a five-way structure. Then again, five is into one, two, three, four. Three is not extended, so we're ex expecting some kind of extension on fifth. It is not really good looking, but we can fit a five-way structure in there. Then we would have ABC into possible A wave, uh, or the wave four is completed here. Now there's two scenarios that I want to go over here. One is saying that we have a truncated, well, actually we can't really have that, right? Okay, so we can't basically have, well, okay, let me rephrase that. If we have the wave four here, I would expect wave five to either have this as a wave one, two, and continuation higher, or this would be a wave five already. Um, and this would be a truncated structure. But because of the time element here, I would definitely not think that would be the case. I definitely want wave four to be a bit larger um, overall because wave two here was so minimal. I, I just don't like the look here. We could pull it here, I guess. It'd get a bit better look. But yeah, for, if the wave four would be further out, we have this count for it in which we have ABC into an A wave, ABC into B wave. This structure over here is again uh, the second leg of this structure. It gets to the 0.618 here. It is also possible, it is actually more likely that wave B is not completed yet. And this would be just a one, two, three, four, five um, for that ABC structure. Uh, we can get that one-to-one -one extension out here as well, which would be the target, basically. Um, at that point, again, we would have, uh, or we would be looking for five waves down uh, into this one-to-one -one area. Of course, this is going to be de depending on how and where we are going to be actually 
um, getting um, our pivot from. At the moment it is from the, here, so if it turns down here we could be looking at this 1 to 1 to 1 1.38 uh, area for pullback or continuation up higher for that last wave 5. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. That's my expe expectation. Uh, I'm looking for my longs here. Um, if this is going to be turning up uh, higher, um, and most likely we would need, definitely need to take out these lows or highs here, then we would most likely uh, be looking at this as a one, two, three, four, and five, looking for that, um, not that C wave, but this B wave and this C wave, right? So yeah, those are the options that I'm looking at the moment. If you made it this far into the video, um, I would appreciate the likes. Also, link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.